Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Sunday. Now in the daily Twin Flame reading earlier, it was really again like a part one of this message. It was very powerful because the messages that came up were what is the masculine feeling, you know, what's he hoping for, what's the energy he's in and what does he want to say. So if you love these types of readings with the messages in, make sure you watch today's daily Twin Flame reading because it will blow you away. But right now I'm going to bring in five decks of powerful cards. I'm going to bring in the messages from your divine masculine's true self and the messages from your other self by aligning with my soul, Zoe. We're going to bring in the Realms Mercury Edition 2 by Lorena OG Tarot and we're going to complement it with her other deck, Eternal Messages. And we're going to bring in the beautiful DM Draft Messages by the Empress M. Now, just to let you know, I am going to be live in London doing an event next year on May the 18th. It's a Saturday. And if you want to come to that, there's not only going to be me there, there's going to be other readers you may watch on YouTube. So our soul sister Zoe from Aligning With My Soul, who created these two beautiful decks, is going to be helping me out a little bit in the morning. So when you come into the event itself and you bring your tickets in, Zoe and her beautiful daughter Ellie are going to be there to greet you and to take your ticket and to give you a little pass pass badge thing that you're going to wear for the day. And then the event itself will be on and I'm going to be there, George is going to be there, Zoe's going to be there, Goody's going to be there, Sandra's going to be there. So many, many people you know, you can connect with. So if you are thinking of coming and you want to get your tickets while they last, all you have to do is hit the, the you know, the little link in the description box below and it takes you straight to the tickets and all the details of that. It's going to be a great day. So I'm really looking forward to that. So and I'm excited to, you know, meet up with everybody in real life. So what does your masculine want to say to you? Love it when they jump out like this. Very powerful. What does your, look at this. Wow. The masculines are really in tune with you today, Divine Feminine, because if they weren't, they wouldn't jump out this way. Look at this. Amazing. What do your masculines want you to know? Straight out. What do your masculines want you to know? Wow. Now, first of all, before we go into what they want to say, the energy they're in today is a bit of sadness because they've hurt you and they're not liking where they are and, you know, they are feeling stressed out. So this makes sense because this card jumped out and it's turned over and it's the first card. So it says, the shame that eats at me for how I've treated you, I hope that you don't hate me. So that's what he's dealing with today. He's saying, I hope you don't hate me for the things that I've done. I'm so sorry. I feel shame and guilt over the way I've treated you. I know it was wrong. And he's saying, I don't know who I am anymore. So he's saying, I don't know who I am anymore. I'm changing. I'm becoming somebody new. It's scary. I'm moving into uncertain times. Please wait for me and give me the time I need to understand. So he's apologising for all the things he's done. The shame that eats away at me. So it's eating away at his soul and he's saying, I really hope you don't hate me. I really hope you can forgive me and take me back. And I don't know who I am anymore because I'm changing. So this is all the uncertain energy that he's dealing with as well. I picked up on that in today's, in today's Divine Masculine reading. I just love you so much. So he's saying, I just love you. I just love you so much. All this shame is eating away at me. I'm sorry. And I wish I could just buy you pretty things. And he said, and they're giving me like saliva in the mouth. And when I get that, it's craving you, hungering for you, wanting you wanting more wanting more for you to be able to do nice things for you and they give me shoulder pain which is connected with burdens so he's carrying around a big burden a big weight and that came through in the masculine reading today so he's carrying around stress and burdens because he may not be able to get you things you know and this is also things if finances are a struggle and he wants to be able to romance you or buy you nice things. But I also feel, you know, if he's in a karmic situation and he's not able to do that, he wants to be able to do that. So he's saying, I need to be free so I can actually treat you the way I should have treated you in the first place. And he's curious about what you do. And he's saying, so are you seeing anyone new? So there's a little bit of jealousy here and he's trying to make it light. So 
Are you seeing anyone new? It's a question. And he may ask you that, you know, maybe you are messaging right now and he's wondering what you're doing. If you've met anyone new, if you've been anywhere, done anything, are you seeing anyone new? So he's wondering what you're doing and he's afraid. He's afraid you're going to leave him, you're going to move on, you're not going to wait around. And he's saying, I'm barely containing my desire for you. So he may try and act all cool on the surface. Hey, what are you doing? You know, how are you? Are you seeing anyone new? What you're up to? But inside he's burning for you. And he has this desire. Why? Because he just loves you so much. He's saying to you, I just love you so much. And just know that I'm obsessed with you. So he's letting you know he's obsessed with you. You may feel obsessed with your twin, but your twin is also obsessed with you. Your twin is just very good at covering up, very good at wearing a mask, very good at hiding these things. And understand that if they've blocked you, they do that because they feel overwhelmed by love. They feel overwhelmed by the pressure. They feel overwhelmed by it all. The desire, he said, I can barely contain this desire. I'm obsessed with you. So you have to read through the lines, see through the situation and not go into fear. Because he said, I don't know how to express my love, yet I love you so much and I keep it all inside. So he's like a volcano that's about to erupt. And he said, I can barely contain all this desire. And if he keeps holding it in and holding it in, it's only a matter of time before he explodes and it all comes out or he holds it in and it makes him ill. He said, I'm putting a plan together. I'm putting a plan together to be with you so we can be intimate and share time. And when I look into your eyes, it sets me on fire. So the eyes are the windows of the soul. And he said, when I look into your eyes, when you see me, wow, the desire I feel, look at you, you're gorgeous to me. So he's saying, when I look into your eyes, you set me on fire. You are all I'll ever need. And he knows that and that scares him too. That's another reason he can run or ghost or block because they know in you they see something special, something unique. They see themselves in you and they've never experienced that before. And he's saying, wow, I know that with you, you're all I'll ever need. And nothing in this world makes me happier than you. And if they've got commitment issues, that can scare them even more because with you, they do. They may hate the idea of marriage or maybe they've been in a bad marriage or they're getting out of a marriage. And he's saying, well, I never thought I'd do it again, but I will do it with you because you're my life. You're what I want. You're my everything. And nothing in this world makes me happier than you do. So I feel this is coming through because you need to hear this divine feminine. If you feel that you're delusional or you're in pain because of the way they've treated you or things have gone pear-shaped and you don't know what's going on, or you've just not had communication, you don't know how they feel, you make them happy. Don't ever doubt that. And he's saying to you, I'm so sorry if I've made you doubt our love, the shame that eats at me for that, for how I've treated you, that I've made you doubt my love for you. And just know that no matter what I do or what I say, I just love you so much. And I am obsessed with you. And I am putting a plan together to see what you're doing and what you're up to. And the plan just may be, the fact that he comes forward and says, hey, so are you seeing anyone new? And that may trigger you because you're thinking, no, why would I see anyone new? But really he's trying to see what you're doing. If you are free, if you are still single, if you are still in love with him as much as he's in love with you. And he's saying, I wish I could just buy you pretty things. So he does think about that. He thinks about taking you places and doing things and treating you well. And he said, I hope you don't hate me. I hope you don't hate me for the things I've done and the things I haven't been able to do, the things I want to do. But I am putting a plan together to make this work. And all the angels really want you to know today is that he doesn't know how to express this love, but he does feel this love. And he is as obsessed with you as you are to him. But he is changing and growing as well. So just know you make him happy. You're all he'll ever need. And when you look into his eyes, you see all of this anyway. So the message from heaven is to trust the love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.